Wear safety glasses. Place the specimen into the hole punch. Grab the hammer and strike the hole punch to mark the specimen. Remove the specimen from the hole punch. Then, touch the specimen with the caliper to measure its length and diameter. We have the sample. We want to measure the percentage elongation. And to make the measurements, all you have to do is put it somewhere in between. Right? Take your hammer. You can see your two dents. Then you get your calipers, measure this, and then you do all your testing and everything. You can also measure the diameter at three points. Attach specimen holders on both ends of the specimen. Press the stop test button on the control panel, which can be resized. Use the jog control on the control panel to bring the top grip down. Slide the specimen into the grips. Click on the mouse again to put the specimen in tension. Observe the specimen as it is put in tension. Click the resize button to magnify the specimen and look at the von Mises stress distribution contours. These stresses have been calculated using Abaco's nonlinear finite element solver. Observe the specimen until it breaks. Warning. This will be loud. Insert the broken specimen pieces into the holder. Associate point C on the stress strain curve with one of the provided schematic choices. Correct. Associate point A on the stress strain curve with one of the provided schematic choices. Correct. Congratulations, you have completed the steps of this simulation.